G'day! In today's video, I'm cracking open a Lenovo Legion Y530. This particular one hopes to be getting some new thermal paste put on. And all I'm using is a Phillips head screwdriver. So let's see how we go. Granted, these aren't the normal tools I would be using in the normal location that I would be doing it. But that's what isolation does. Or lockdowns. So this was purchased second hand. It does have a 8750H in there. And also has a GTX 1060 6 gig model. So it's one of the more spec'd out 530s that are available out there. So far all screws have been the same length. One different size screw here. Different length. So I'd say this bottom bit here is going to be of the larger variety. For a second there I thought I was missing a screw. There we go, so all of these screws removed. Now we'll just need to figure out where to grab it. Yes, make some separation there. Just got a nail under there. Not quite. Close. There we go. Put you back in. There we go. Here we go. And we are now in. So let's check this out. Look it in there from the factory, we've also got a two terabyte Seagate drive, which I actually was not expecting. I was expecting this to be vacant. Over here, we have a NVMe drive. Now, there we go. So all we need to do is remove this, is undo the Phillips head screw down here. That lifts up, lifts up, slides back. And what do we have? Samsung variety. And let's try to recognize it from the model. I'm assuming it's a 256 gig model. It was listed as a 512 model. That is slightly disappointing. And down here we got 500. So not too sure on that one without searching the model number. But I'd be pretty confident we're probably a 256. The way that just slides back in, tilts down. Now the cooler on here does look fairly substantial, which is good for us. It do look like we are a bit dusty with the age of it, so a clean out probably will help, as it is around about a three year old machine. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, seven screws. And a couple for the fans, nine screws. Under here, I would say we'll have the upgradable RAM. We do have the Wi-Fi card over here, which that one, I'm also not too sure of the branding on that one. Do have a 55 watt apparent battery here. It's kind of by the size of it. It is quite decent in capacity. Now, I'm going to try and take this RAM cover off. much many tools if any on hand so it's going to be very rough there we go that came off easier than expected so it looks like we have a single stick of DDR 
more DDR2 2666 16 gig so I was hoping for a dual channel I guess we don't in this particular instance but I will be changing that shortly to two eights put that back down line it up with the clamps Go. Next up, taking this cooler off. These pre-tension screws are coming off quite easily. Also, some people may recommend to disconnect the battery right about now. Terrible day to cut my nails. Flathead screwdriver may also assist in this. Okay, with that, I should be able to twist this just slightly. Or wiggle it. Okay. I believe that fan should be able to stay there. Here. And there we go. Apart from the fans, the cooler room itself is relatively dust free. And now I'm going to put some new thermal paste on here. with some rubbing alcohol. Oh, yeah, the next part's gonna be a bit harder. That's typically what I use here is a toothbrush. Paste is fairly dry. You get that with a three-year-old laptop. Normally I would like to clean in between the little capacitors that are there or the diodes, but being I don't really have anything for them to actually clean out there, I won't be doing that in this instance. the CPU. It's looking pretty clean. So now let's put some. What have we got here? Arctic Silver 5.
feel free to critique my thermal paste application in the comments below. Go. Now we zoom back out. Let's proceed to get this back together. There we go. These screws would have screwed in a bit further, but they aren't, but that is okay. I guess that's as far as they really need to go. go. Let's have another quick look over the top here. One USB on a daughter board. One cat coming to say hello. Hello. What you doing? Go get some food. Uh, two terabyte, two fifty six. One replaceable battery if need be. A single sixteen gig DDR four wireless card that's replaceable. I believe down here we also have the BIOS or the VBIOS. And look it up high. Type C, display port, USB, HDMI, Ethernet, power. So power, if you do damage your power port, it is fairly challenging to replace. It will require a bit of heat and a full removal of the board. Replace of a wireless card and USB and headphone jack. Here we also have the connector for the display. So let's get this back together. Now before I do that actually, let's get this battery reconnected. And I don't want to tear it down just to get that battery reconnected. Go, reconnected. Put the tape back, cover on, and just squish it, work our way and squish it. screws at the back. And then from here, the shorter screws at the front. And that's how you can replace the thermal paste on your Lenovo Yoga, oh, Lenovo Legion Wi Fi 30. Also, just covers the various other things that you can upgrade in there. This one I'll probably be swapping over to two 8 gig sticks as opposed to one 16. Just because I've got two 8 gigs on hand, I don't have a single 16 to add to it. And I will be changing that two terabyte drive to a one terabyte. And I'll see what I do about the NVMe that's there. Anyway, hope this helps you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.